So in this game dev tutorial series, in this particular demo, we're gonna to start to take a look at adding score to the screen. Now the way we're gonna do that is to gather information from the enemies that are destroyed. We're gonna store that in the global variable that is counting those numbers. So we're gonna create a UI, take the numbers that we have stored in that variable and then display it in our UI. Hey, I'm Jerry from Blizz Studio, creator of the Apple featured game, Trixel Rocket. And remember, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next video is available. And if you're ready to get started, let's go. So here we are back in Unity. I'm currently in my enemy prefab, but I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my main scene. And here we go. We now have a, a few things that we need to clean up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have an extra enemy on the screen. I was using that at the very beginning just to be able to test, but I can get rid of that because we're generating that on the fly. Uh, I've got my destroyer at the bottom of the screen, that's fine. I've got my quad that's my background. I'm gonna go ahead and just relabel that as background two. And the first quad, I'm gonna go ahead and rename that as background one. I'm gonna also add those to an empty game object. So create an empty. Again, this is just a little bit of cleanup here. So I'm gonna call this background and then drag both of back both of those quads background one and background two into background and then i can close that up and so you can see we're already kind of starting to clean things up just a little bit i'm also going to go ahead and add destroyer in there as well just it's kind of a place we can kind of store that i also don't need the spaceship uh, sprite on so i can just turn that off so we just know that there is a box there that is destroying our enemies once they get off the screen. And I think, other than that, I think we're okay. So let's go ahead and then start to take a look at adding some GUI. So the way that we're gonna do this with the Unity UI system, if we right click or control click, we can go and under UI, you can see that we have some options here text, text mesh pro, image, raw image, there's buttons, all kinds of different things. The thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna add a text mesh pro, but for us to add a text mesh pro, we also have to have a canvas. Canvas is the container that then contains all the different things that are part of the UI. So, and if I want one of these items like the text mesh pro, it's going to also create the canvas because it has to have that container. Um, you can see Canvas is one of the options there, but for me, I'm gonna go ahead and just create Text Mesh Pro. And then it's uh, giving me this text importer. I'm not gonna worry about that at the moment. And you can see that it also created a Canvas for me. So I'm gonna rename this Canvas to UI-Score. And this is where I'm gonna house the score on the screen. So if I zoom out, you can see, boom, here is my UI. It's really, really big, uh, but it renders just like the scene. So let's go ahead and here is my Text Mesh Pro box. Okay, for me to be able to add text, uh, Unity is telling me that I need to add some Text Mesh Pro Essentials. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Import Text Mesh Pro Essentials. And it wants me to save my project, that's fine. We should always keep on saving it. And this is gonna take just a sec. There we go, and now we have some text, and it's put some text in there for me. So I can go ahead and close this window. And then you can see here is my text, and this is the UI, so this is kind of representative of what the camera sees. So if we go to game, you can see that this text is down in the lower left-hand corner of that UI. So if we go to game, you can see it's kind of off screen right here. So let's go back, and if I were to move this in the middle, if I go back to game, you can see that text is in the middle of the screen. 
So what we need to do is try to figure out exactly where we want this to be. Um, because my ships are kind of like coming down off the top of the screen, I don't want my score to be up there, or maybe I do. Let's go ahead and I'll tell you, let's add it to the upper left-hand corner. So when I usually start a UI that I know is just going to be numbers, I just put XXXXX and try to figure out exactly how much text is going to be there. So I think this is working for me for the moment. And then if you want, you can go and you can, you know, bold the text, you can change the size of it, but I think I'm just going to leave it for now. And let's go back to our game here and we can see that that's up there in that corner. Okay, now we know we don't want there to be XXX, we want there to be numbers. So I'm going to add an FSM to this UI, and we'll go ahead and right click. And I'm just going to change this first state to listener. And the first thing that I want to do is to go ahead and set up the, that box with the X's up there is actually representative of a number instead of the X's. So we want to keep that score and we're going to take that score and then add it to that text box. So the way we're going to do this is first we're going to set a the integer. So the difference between a float and an integer, a float is a series of numbers that can have a decimal point and an integer can only be whole numbers. So we're going to only stick whole numbers up there. So what we need to do is we need to take a integer, so that whole number, and we need to turn it into a string. Now a string is can be letters and numbers, and what we have up there is a series of letters and numbers. But we need to convert the integer so that we can display it as regular text. And so what we're going to do is we're going to first type in convert. And you can see we've got some options here. There is a convert int to string. That's the one we want. So we'll drag that in there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we need to create an integer variable. And then we're gonna take that integer variable and we're gonna convert it. And then we're gonna store it into a string variable. So what we're gonna do is, here's where we wanna bring in a global. We want that score to be global. So I'm gonna take and create a new global variable. So this is different than the variables that are specific to this FSM. This is global to the whole game. Let's call it, just call it score. Okay, so create variable. And if we look at our Playmaker editor windows and global variables, you can see that we now have score. It's an integer and the value currently is zero. I'm gonna go ahead and just dock this down here so we have that so we can see it. And then we also need to create a, take that and then change that number into a string. And so we're gonna store that in a variable. So let's go a new variable, and this is a variable specific to this FSM. And we're gonna call that score count, create variable. Cool. So what we're gonna do is we're taking this zero right here, the, the zero that's held in that global variable, we're changing that integer, so that whole number, we're changing that into a regular set of string text, which can be any character, and then we can take that text and we can update the number that's up here, or that text mesh pro box. So let's do that real quick. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna take this text mesh pro text box and let's go ahead and just change the name of this and we'll call this score and with one C go back to my UI there I'm gonna take a score and I'm gonna drag it down into this box and then saying hey what do you want to do with that well we want to update it so we're gonna go to text mesh pro and we want to set the property. So I click that. And then we it's saying, hey, what property of that text do you want to change? Well, we can change all kinds of stuff. We can change the size of it. We can change the color of it. We can change all the different properties of that Text Mesh Pro. So the one thing that we want to do is to change string. Let's take a look at the long list that's here. 
and part, part of this list is off screen and what we're going to do is update text so there's an option for text and then inside of that's only one option and that's string okay so that text up there is a string and that's what we want to update so let's go ahead and click that and you can see property text and that is the string of the text so what that text is we're going to set that value with the score count okay so again in the score we're converting an integer into a string we're storing that string in a variable and then in that variable we're going to then update our score that's up there at the top so let's check use variable and then i've stored that variable as score count and boom there we go okay so let's go ahead and click these every frame and now let's click play and if we did this right this should change to whatever the score amount is that we have down here in our global variable so hopefully this should change that xxx to zero give that a play and there we go we have that text now changed to zero cool so if I change this down here in my globals, which I don't think it's going to let me do, there we go. We can see that it updated it to five. All right, let's stop that and it's back to zero. Now we need to update that number every time we kill an enemy. So let's go over to our enemy prefab. And here we've already set up some actions that are happening. So when we blow up an enemy with our bullet, we are playing an audio, we're getting the main camera, we're doing a shake of the main camera, we're activating the particle system, then we're turning the sprite of the enemy off, and then we're going to destroy the object. So the other thing that we need to do here is to change the score. So there's a couple things that we can do. We can Put that in this particular state of that FSM or we can create a new state that's kind of it goes through that state so there's a couple different ways we can do that I'm gonna go ahead and just add a new state and we'll call this update score and then I'm gonna go from the finished of the blow up enemy to update the score and then I'm gonna add a finished transition from update score over to destroy self Okay, so now in update score, this is where we're gonna call to that global variable and update it. So what we need to do is do an integer add. So every time we kill our enemy, we wanna add one to our score, okay? So again, that score is an integer. We're storing that as a global variable. So what we wanna do is we wanna update that global variable. So I'm gonna change or type in int and then add. There we go, so here's our int add. So we're gonna drag that down into our state. And then it's asking, okay, what variable do we wanna update? Well, we have a global variable called score. That's the score that we're gonna update. And then how do, how do we wanna update that? Well, right now it's zero, and that's not gonna give us anything. If we type in one, it'll, it'll update by one every time we kill an enemy, or we can update by five or 10, whatever score system you wanna use. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit one. We don't need to do this every frame because we only want it to do once. And then as soon as it's done, it's going to go to finished, which is then going to destroy the, the game object of the enemy. Okay, so hopefully if we did this right, when we play, it's going to update our score to zero. And then every time we kill an enemy, it's going to add a score of one to our score. So let's give this a try. And there we go, we are updating our score. Now one of the things that I've noticed is that there's a little bit of a pause before the score gets updated. So I might wanna change things just a little bit. I'm gonna rearrange these states so that it updates the score, then goes through the blow up enemy. So let's, I'm gonna rearrange this here. I'm gonna take from blow up enemy to update score. So this is kind of the order of when things happen. I'm gonna go from finished update score to blow up enemy, and then from blow up enemy to destroy self. So this is kind of the order of how those things happen.
So update score should go happen really fast, and then we're gonna go through and play the sound and all that kind of stuff. So it should work a little bit better now. So let's go ahead and click play. Boom, there we go. Now the score is being updated instantaneously. All, all I did was just rearrange. And all I did was just rearrange those states so that they're happening in a different order. And there you go, now updating the score. Now I'm gonna do one more thing here just to kind of make this a little more fancy. I want to change my UI just a little bit. So I'm gonna go back into my main scene here and the UI here that we have where the score is. I'm gonna move that score over just a little bit and then move it down. And I'm gonna put one of those little enemy ships up there just so we can kind of see what's there. So I'm gonna first go to my score canvas and then I'm gonna go to UI and I wanna add an image. Puts in this blank image and all I really need to do is just take the with this selected and the image in the canvas renderer, I want to change the sprite source right here. So we've got image. What's the source of that? There's none right now, so it's just putting a blank image in there for us, that white box. So I just need to take my enemy sprite, drag it right into that image source, and there we go. We now have our enemy. Now it's definitely not the right size, so that it's kind of more similar sizing to the UI up there. The score and that might be a little bit big take it down just a little bit further I can always look at it in game to see how it's gonna look I'll zoom in just a little bit so I can see And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and give this another play real quick just to see how it looks. So we have a score of zero. Boom, we now have killed two enemies. Yeah, get some. Okay, I'm sorry. That was just like, that's just too fun for me. So as a recap, we went and created a UI. That UI is gonna contain our score, and then we're, we created an FSM on that score UI so that we can then take the text that's there, change it from an int to a string, and we're updating that text in the UI based off of every time we kill an enemy. So in the next demo, we're gonna go ahead and set up a UI for level complete. And we'll also set up the logic that makes that happen. And again, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time, keep creating.